Buenos dias and bienvenue, whatever the fuck that means, but how about this instead, a good old fashioned kazar. Oh, wow, I put a little, bit, a little bit more pirate into that one. So what's up everybody, welcome back to Planet Base. You can use the chart window to monitor the evolution of your food stocks when your people go hungry. It might be too late to correct the situation. Well, unless you mean this, my abs, that situation. <laughs> I have no abs. I have flab. Flabs. That's what I've got. I've got flabs. How are we doing on power? I'm surprised these are actually... Actually, I'm not surprised these are running out because the only thing we really have powering them is two of them and one of them. So let's speed up time and get this shiitake mushroom recorded. So last time we built an extra mine and we got that power power grid we got this uh solar panel that's about to go up in one more once that is up i believe i will build a couple more power collectors or what i'm going to be calling them from now on as capacitors because i'm going to be building the laser this is the laser you can see the little green radius that's what it covers so putting it there covers the entire base putting it here doesn't cover the entire base so you've just got to, you've got to stick down guns wherever you can. It's a pretty cool cannon. What's that? Can we get a little bit? No, we can't. Can we rotate it? Nope, we can't rotate it. That sounded close. Too close. So let's actually take a look at our stock right now. Uh, hey, there's the solar panel going up. And boop, it's online. Uh, well, at the end of the day, it comes online, doesn't it? Gee, thanks. Oh, two structures have been built. What else were we building? Oh, the, the path behind it. Right, so yeah, no, once again, let me check this. So we're still on our, we're still on our 33 people. Oh, right, we need to create, we need to create, we need to increase production of metal instead of ore. And we're doing fine for everything else. And we actually have the stuff to build the laser, and that is awesome. So you know what, we're going to turn this one down, and then we're going to turn this up. So we can get that shit built. What else needs doing? I do not know. I was about to start rapping then, but I'm not going to. I, I'm, I'm white. I should not rap. It just doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, it does. Some people can rap. I can't. Oh, I'm out of milkshake already. So, uh, yeah. So, sorry, I'm just distracted. I'm uh, setting up the next episode of I Zombie. Uh, I'm three away from the ending, which is awesome. And then uh, season three starts up pretty soon, if it hasn't started already, which I'm going to absolutely love because I Zombie is one of the greatest TV shows I've ever watched. Right, that's that. All set up and ready to go. That's the lyric to a song. That's the that's one of the lyrics to Hi Ho, Let's Go. Oh, it's Blitzkrieg Bob. Blitzkrieg Bob. Yep, no, I was an idiot. We're only on five. John, I think I need to build another kitchen area. Canteen, that's it. They've fallen in the street, land. I'm going to build it. Parallel. Is it parallel? No, it's not parallel. Next to, uh, vertically from, horizontally from, one of those. I'm going to build it in the direction of us. Uh, because us, ca us, as in the camera that is looking directly at it. These people are going to go to work and get it built pretty damn quickly as well. Mush, mush, mush. <laughs> mush, mush. And I was going to say mushy, mushy. Oh, I'm actually in a semi-decent mood today. I'm watching a new guy on Twitch. Uh, he's been off for a while. He's been off for almost a year. Not streaming. Uh, oh, I'm about to yawn. There we go. But, uh, yeah, but since he's back and he's called CMDR... Um, Coy Coyote? Something like that. Coy oh, no, sorry, sorry. CMDR Quixote is what his name his name is. Um, he's really awesome. He streams. Uh, what's it called? The thing with the Kerbal Space Program. That's what he does. And I love watching him just screw about and shit. It's fucking hilarious. 
get one of them in, get another one of them in. Can I get a plant in there? Yes, I can. Get a plant there. Can I get another one of these in anywhere? Nope. Uh, let's stick a TV in. Let's stick a TV in right there. Stick another plant in. Stick another fountain in. Stick more of these tables in. There we go. But you know what? You can have. Uh, now let's stick another plant on there. So that's that canteen up and running. Now I'm watching all these things hit the ground and I'm getting really close to understanding the fact. To, really close to understanding the fact. I'm getting really close to like thinking are these things going to hit my uh, my lasers my lasers my buildings do I need to rush this laser or do I need to just hold off and not build it quite yet oh by the way I forgot uh, two days ago I think it was it was uh, St. Paddy's Day so a happy late St. Patrick's Day everybody hey small table has been built yeah I had no idea it was actually St. Patrick's Day, which was uh, very confusing when it happened because everybody was. So it was the next day that I found out it was actually St. Patrick's Day because there was a little St. Paddy's Day um, wreath type thing hanging up in a pub window, and I was like, oh, it must have been St. Patrick's Day. Because those are the only times you really fly that colour unless you watch rugby, and then I guess you fly them whenever Ireland plays. But apart from that, it's been very interesting. Huh. So how's that? And I just dropped my iPad. So, whoa. So I actually streamed a last night slash this morning. That's what I'm talking about. You see that? That is what I do not like. I do not want that to happen because it means my guys will die. Kind of. But yeah. Uh, no, I actually streamed two things today. Slash last night. Um, I streamed Empire at War because I love that game and I also streamed Battlefront 2 because I love that game as well now the new oof, see it all comes down to like I was going to stream I said to a friend I was going to stream Battlefront 2 and they were like what do you think of the new Battlefront as in like the most recent one if it's not that good uh, it's not that bad either if you if you think about it, I applaud them for spending so long getting the most detail they can into the entire game because just being able to go into like the Lucas archives and checking out all the original props and stuff is awesome, uh, and it's really impressive that they decided they were going to make a game in that much detail. However, the game itself, mm, not the best. I mean, some of the mechanics are okay, and some of the other stuff's okay, and I mean, the vehicles are pretty damn nice. The levels are good. So, well, some of the levels are good. Uh, what else? Guns are good. The customization of the characters doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know why you'd want that. I don't know why you'd want... Well, actually, no, I can't understand why you want to customize your character, but the whole thing about Battlefront was you played a specific roles in Battlefront. That was very close again. Uh, like, if you play Battlefront 1 and 2, you know, you've got Clone Trooper or Rebel Trooper, uh, Sharpshooter, Rocket Trooper, Jet Trooper, all, the, like, Commando class, and that that makes sense. But, like, you, it was... Okay, yeah, it was a bit of a class-based fighting system, which didn't always lead to good outcomes. But at the same time, it's better than just having random customization because you, as soon as you unlock the good weapons, it, see, it's the same with like TF2 and stuff. As soon as you unlock the weapons that can kick ass, that's it. Whoever joins, whoever, whoever is a fresh join, whoever's a noob, they don't have a good time because they will, if they'll be put in games where some person has that kind of weapon that's about 80 times better than them and the only way around that is by buying stuff and that's just really pay to win's just a piece of shit I mean same thing with Halo Wars 2 my friend was concerned that if the whole like card blitz kind of system is you know you buy a shit ton of packs and you, you basically just pay you pay to win uh, turns out that's not actually the case because if you buy the packs you get a random set of cards unless it's one of those 
uh, leader packs. Even though you do get a set of random cards in a leader pack, you still have some random cards, which is good. Sandstorm detected. Okay, I'll put everyone on yellow alert. Hey, look at that. It's coming in right about now. Can you see it in the background? Wow, I'm kind of glad I actually set them to do that. Do you know what really gets me? Dating websites. They never they never make any sense to me. You basically just go on a website, put in a bunch of shit about, you know, you and what you want and all that crap, and then you spend the next year and a bit getting ignored. If I wanted to do that, fuck, I could just, you know, just stand outside. I could go outside, fucking hell. Something's wrong with dating in our day and age. I mean, it used to be difficult. Now you can just rock up to people and go, hey, you want some fuck? And, you know, boom, there you go, you've got some fuck. It doesn't work all the time, you know. It only works with skanky people, really. Uh, but I do not judge. Because I'm a skank myself. I'm a skanky skank skank. I'm the kind of person where someone would go, damn, you skank. Or, damn, you skanky. Or they'd, you know, we'd get into a bitch fight, and, you know, they'd slap me around and shit, and, you know. But I don't go out a lot, it's pointless to me. People suck. To be honest, dating sucks. But I don't know why I'm going on about dating. I haven't dated in like seven years, so... Yeah. That's probably why I'm going on about it. I need to shut up now. I need to focus on the game. There's a sandstorm. Do you know what? Anakin Skywalker would hate this planet because there's sand on it and it's coarse and it gets everywhere. I remember, I think I was playing a. I think I was playing the. I think it was in the first episode of Empire at War in the series where I was like, channeling my inner dark side, channeling my inner dark side. I'm Anakin, I'm Anakin. I don't like sand, it's coarse, it gets everywhere. And even though you guys might not make it, get my jokes, I find my jokes to be funny. Because if you know fucking Star Wars, you know what I'm talking about. Fucking. Anakin Skywalker. Hayden Christensen can go suck a fat chode. Something wrong with that guy. He ruined Star Wars. It's a shame, really. Son of a bitch, you managed to sneak... Oh, wait, that's a trading ship. I was going to say, son of a bitch, you managed to sneak that colony ship in right when I didn't want it to. You've got nothing. Fuck off. That's what you've got for me? Screw you. I'll turn you on as well, because... Uh, you're only set to trading ship as well. Fucking coming down, giving me aura starch. I could, I've got plenty of that, thank you very much, you little bastard. What's the t What time are we coming up to? We are 30 minutes in, so we're actually going to be coming to the end of the episode pretty damn soon. Uh, I'm trying to keep everything down to a good 15 minutes now. I don't want it to run about 20 minutes. If it does run 20 minutes, that's okay. I just, I just got to speak very fast and shit. Oh. Yeah. Life's a bitch, but I'm happy. I'm happy and cheery, and you can tell in my voice, can't you? I'm so happy, everybody. Welcome to the, welcome to the Let's Play. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like life. I hate people. Like life. Maybe that's a contradiction. Well, the birds are outside chirping. It's sunning. It's sunning. It's sunny. So I hate it. I need it rainy. I need it gloomy and rainy, so I can stand out there and look the part. Which is funny, because every time it does rain, I, uh, I get extremely happy. Every time it's sunny, it's just depressing. I don't know what that is. I, it's, I don't know. Seasonal? Sunshine? I don't know. But anyway. Wow. Almost breaking the audio. Right? Thank you for coming along to today's episode. I would appreciate it if you would give me a like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. Please go ahead down to the comment section and drop me a comment about if you want to see me build part of the base in a giant dick shape or something stupid like that. But if not, you fucking fly. I got you. Uh... Feel free to drop on by, go check out my old episodes. Let's try and get about five likes on this. I really appreciate that. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.